Hello and welcome to Bumper Turtles. Today you're going to create a model um, that will basically have turtles running back and forth into objects and you can choose whether or not you want to have a trail of um, where they've been and where they're going. Okay, so before we actually start this, the first thing you need to know before you do this model is it's very, very, very important that you have already watched the conditional logic net logo if statements and bumper turtles video. It's a long one, but you want to watch that and do the notes before you try to do this model or none of it is going to make sense and it's going to be very confusing and a very long process for you. Okay, so you finished your notes with your conditional logic net logo if statements and bumper turtles video and now you have net logo downloaded. Um, the first thing that you're going to do, of course, is comment with your name, date, and the title of the model, which today is Bumper Turtles. Our first procedure is going to be to set up random, and just like every other model, you're going to do a clear all right after that in the setup procedure. And then we're going to reset ticks, like in the OWL model, and um, this will clear our tick counter so we can start counting over again. At this point, like in the pixel art model, if you got to do that one, we're going to ask patches. So just like we ask turtles to do things, we can ask patches to do things. And in this case, we're going to do a very long if then or else statement, um, which will make our patches black, blue, and red. And it'll just choose randomly which are which. Um, I'll come back to that in just a second and you can copy that down. We have to be very careful with those. Um, then you're going to show the count of the patches so when you put show count of whatever you put after that, it'll show your count and you can create what's called a monitor. We'll talk about that later. And then we're going to put show count patches with each specific patch color. P color is how we indicate patch color. Then we're going to create 45 turtles um, and create a procedure for them. Then we'll set their heading to a random and we'll set their color and put the pen down. Okay, so let's start back up here. We ask our patches, and you're going to put open bracket and then a close bracket, and all of this stuff is gonna go in between. Okay, we're gonna define a, vari define a variable, which will be r. So we're saying here, let r equal random 100, which means it's going to be anywhere between zero and 99, and it'll just randomly pick one of those. And then we're doing an if-else statement. So our if-else statement is, if r is less than 10, with spaces in between those, then, and whatever goes in our first set of brackets is what it will do if r is less than 10. So if it is less than 10, we'll set the p color black. Again, that's patch color. We close bracket for our if. Then we do a then. Okay, so whatever's inside these next two brackets is our then or else. That means, um, I'm sorry, that it's our else statement. So that means if R is less than 10, it'll set the P color black. Otherwise, it'll do whatever's in the next set of brackets. Now this is gonna get confusing because we're gonna do some nested if else statements. So inside our else statement, we're putting another if else statement. And you don't really have to understand that right now. Um, just the basics that you should understand are your if else statement. Your first thing is what's going to be if, and that goes inside its own brackets. And then the second thing will be else. So this is if it is true, and then the second set of brackets is if it's not true. Okay, so back to our else for our first if else. Um, we're going to do another if else. So at this point, you might want to check your brackets. You should have an open bracket, an open bracket, a closed bracket, and then way down here, a closed bracket for the whole thing. Okay. Open bracket, if else, r is less than 20, then in brackets, set p color red. If it's not less than 20, then it's going to do another if else statement. So this thing is what it's going to do instead. And this last 
this very last if else statement should help everything else make sense. So inside our else statement with these two brackets, we're doing one last if else. Okay? If else r is less than 30, if it's true, in our first set of brackets, we put what we want it to do. So we want it to set the peak color blue if the variable r is less than 30. Or else, if it's greater than 30 or equal to 30, we want it to set its peak color green. And then we close bracket, and we close bracket, and we close bracket. So double check your brackets right now. You should have one, two, three, four closed brackets at the very end of this guy. Um, and you can click on each bracket and see if it has a pair. Okay, so like if I click on that one, I see it's a pair, and on that one, and on that one. It's very easy to forget brackets in this process. So click each open bracket and make sure it has a closed bracket. If it doesn't, then you can figure out where it goes. Okay. Go ahead and add show count patches. Show count patches with, and in brackets, put P color space equal space red. Close brackets. Do the same thing with P color equals blue, and the same thing with P color equals black. At this point, we're about halfway through our setup random. So we're going to take a little break. It's time for some cuteness. And here's our cute animal of the day. Okay, back to our code. So we set up our patches, we changed them to whatever we wanted them to be, and now we're going to create turtles. So create turtles is pretty easy. This still goes inside our um, setup random procedure. You can see that's all the way at the top and we have end down at the bottom here. Um, you're going to create turtles 45. And then um, we're going to do a let and while statement. Again, it's really important that you watch that other video before you do this, or some of this is going to be very confusing. Okay, so in open brackets, we're going to let found green spot false while bracket found green spot equals false. So if they have, basically if they have not found a green spot, then they set their x coordinate um, round random x core. And round, I may be mistaken here, but I believe that that means that that's going to be a whole number x coordinate instead of a decimal. Okay. So again, if they haven't found a green spot, they're moving to a random x and y coordinate um, until they do. Okay, so um, go ahead and copy these in. Be careful because you do have an open parenthesis, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, close parenthesis, and watch your syntax and your spelling. Okay, and then we're going to do an if statement. So if statements are different than else statements because they are not going to tell it what to do if it's not true. They just tell it what to do if something is. So we're doing if, open parenthesis, open parenthesis, p color equals green, and the count of turtles here equals one, then we set found green spot true. This is basically saying that if the patch is green and there's one turtle on it, then we set found green spot true for that patch and for that turtle. And so that turtle does not have to move anymore. It does not have to do the set random X core, Y core. Okay. So let's double check here. We've got create turtles 45, open bracket, all the way down at the end, closed bracket. Let found green spot false while that's true, then we set our random x and y coordinates. If p color equals green and the count turtles here equals one, then we set found green spot true and that we no longer have to do the, the while. Okay, um, watch your brackets here. We have an open bracket, closed bracket, 
open bracket, close bracket. And at the very end, you don't have to copy down the code, the, the code comments, although um, you will be responsible for commenting on your code at the end of this, so it's not going to hurt to just use theirs right now. Um, then you are going to set their heading 90 times random four. So that's either going to be um, 90 times zero, 90 times one, times two, or times three. And that will um, point them in one of the four cardinal directions. Um, but it'll pick which one randomly. Okay. Then they'll set their color white and they'll put their pen down. You can also at this point, and you're probably going to want to, um, toy around with the color so they can set their color to magenta. Okay. And you can also have them set their shape. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Um, but make sure all this code is good first. And this is just our setup procedure. We're not in the go procedure yet. Okay, so you can change your turtle shape by, if you go to the, um, if you go edit, sorry, tools, in your tools section there should be a turtle shapes editor. And you'll see that there are all these default shapes that they have. And the one that we are familiar with is the default shape and it just automatically defaults to that shape. But when you create turtles in your setup procedure, you can ask them to set their shape or you can ask them halfway through a procedure to set their shape to any one of these that you recognize. Okay, so um, I'm going to actually, let's see, um, and don't go off of mine because I messed that one up. So I'm going to set my turtles to the truck shape. Do not use regular turtle. It will not work correctly. Okay, so set shape truck. Let me check my code. Okay, for some reason it's not identifying it. Um, truck. There we go. You have to put it in quotation marks. Okay, so now when I do setup, you can see I have all these little trucks. Okay, we're going to head go ahead and go to our go procedure, which is not as quite as complicated as our setup. So um, go ahead, if you haven't already, and create yourself a setup random button. That's the name of our procedure up here. And... Um, and it should look something like this. It's going to change every time because it's random. In our go procedure, you're going to ask your turtles, let color of patch ahead green, and that's again a variable, ask patch ahead one, set color of patch ahead p color. Okay. If you misspell these or you want to shorten them, that's fine. Like you could do color ahead. Um, just make sure you do the same for all of them. You'll see that this shows up here and here and here. Okay. Um, we have some comments here that are explaining what it does. Basically, if two turtles are two steps away and they are facing each other, whichever turtle mo moves first will be able to move one near, but the second turtle um, we'll see a turtle ahead, okay? And that'll keep it from running into the same patch, okay? So if color of patch ahead equals black, then it's going to go left 180. If color of patch ahead equals blue, it's going to go left 90. If color of patch ahead equals red, it's going to go right 90. And if the color of patch ahead equals green, then it's going to ask itself an if else question. So if there are any turtles on patch ahead, it's going to go left 180. Or else, if there are no turtles on the patch ahead, it's going to go forward one. Double check all your brackets. Make sure that they each have a pair. Okay, it should be almost exactly like this model right here. And before our last bracket, or after, right after our last bracket, you're going to put tick. <coughs> and don't forget your end. 
Okay, when you finish this model, go ahead and save as bumper turtles dot your first name dot your last name and you will um, end with net logo or n logo don't forget to comment on your code i know it's kind of confusing but you should attempt to um, explain every couple lines or so with comments and you can definitely explain that this sets the patches black um, and so on and then of course you're going to edit your info section just like we did last time with your name um, the date the name of the model what it does and go ahead and throw the experimental section in there we are going to um, do this experimental section on paper but you should still type it in there anyway it's worth one point so all right if you have any questions um, feel free to ask me and have fun